to them. And unfortunately, with their play lately, they're not exactly giving off the vibe that they're ready to turn things around. And Kenny, oh, we have lots to talk about. One thing coming up on the horizon, the trade day. Hmm. Front offices have had time to evaluate rosters. What are you... Uh, I don't think ours needs changed. Uh, I'll try not to cough through this one. Those allergies are horrible. I can switch my shoes. Yep. That was weird. soft spot in their schedule facing off guys against some of the lower ranked teams in the league and we'll see if they're able to take advantage and have their wins over. And they're trying for their second win in as many games against these guys. They were able to exploit their advantages the first time around. They're out to prove that that was no fluke. This is where you have a chance to establish a pattern of dominance over another club. We'll see if they can ride the momentum off this last one. We've got a few moments here before the tip. Let's go to David Aldridge, who was able to speak with Mike Budenholzer. Hey, what'd you find out? Okay, right, Kevin, thanks very much. He told me he's anticipating just as tough a game today as the first time. Oops. 
Somebody forgot what they were doing. <laughs> sure, went to yeah, lobby. This guy was coming back for a screen. Thomas pitches to lock. Oh, good on the three. Oh, man. Atlanta with the ball. Well, this game coming after a loss against the Jets. You know, they're the visiting team. It's a loud arena, very distracting at times, but simply no excuse for missing a ton of free throws. Did you notice how each miss fired up the crowd even more? It became a vicious cycle. There we go, baby. There we go. And the assist from Thomas starting to open in. Nice decision off this. Vince outside. He feeds it to Schroeder. They set the pick. In the corner, it's McLemore. Just five on the clock. Shit. This one for three. They grab their own miss. Smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he can just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Here's LeBron after the basket by Atlanta. The the I'll take these screens assist. Six points for Shammy Wells. An, an incredible shooting there from Wells. Definitely a threat to sink those perimeter shots. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Back the ball with the ball. Now defended ah. by Garbage Man. Shots good by Matt Lamore. I'm sure he loves that matchup. He gives him a big size advantage down low. Cleveland's gone two or three from Butte so far in this game. LeBron with it. Under now by Prince. Love with the screen from LeBron. Love gets to Thomas. It's a pick by Love. To the paint. Here's Garbage Man. Oh, and there's the one here. There you go, Thomas. Thank you. But that screen deserves an assist. Oh, yeah. Incredible teamwork there. A play you perfect only by practicing it until you're blue in the face. Thomas against Schroeder. There's the pick to the left wing. Wells passes to LeBron. Outside Thomas. Dishes it to Love. Wells in the corner. A three ball. Collins grabs the miss. Hawks have gone four seven from the field, shooting over fifty percent. Here's Prince again. The Hawks score, and he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper, first bucket of the day. That's all you want. That's a good shot to get yourself in the rhythm. For him, he's going to want a lot more than that to come. Garbage man. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, good job. Yeah, expecting that one. <laughs> The Cavaliers <coughs> the first of the game. Almost got the drop, too. And he knocks down the first one. Take it. Mm, no rebounds right now. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay, I'll take that. NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Kicks it to Matt I thought for sure that one was something. Like Take it. Collins against Love. Collins passes to Bowen. Prince outside. Knocked away. Ah. Takes the three. And that one's good. Man. Schroeder. Schroeder's got five now. And Teron Lou thrown right into the fire as the head coach of the Cavaliers, and he led them to a title in his rookie year as a head coach. Yeah, it, it was a whirlwind, but he's so organized. He knew the changes he wanted to make. Coming in and leading the championship team. You got Isaiah? So if you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Look, when you're giving up that type of high production quickness, it's just that simple. And it's also a matter of skill. Kent Bazemore has checked in for Atlanta. For Cleveland, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Now, here's 
Dexter Schroeder. He's coming off a 10 point game against Utah. Ah. And there's the foul, and it's on Garbage Man. That's his first foul. Show him for it the second time. Here's Schroeder. Here's the screen to the wing right side. Here's Bowen. And it's off from three point range. Cleveland's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's James. Once again, ah. the right by Cleveland. Over Cleveland, their last game, a win against Sacramento. And always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought offensively, I really felt like that set them apart. Well, also great execution. That's not something about that. Being active gets you only so far if you lack participation. Love outside. James in the post. Really played well against Sacramento in his last outing. Love moves the ball so well, especially when he spots an open man. There's a screen. Over passes to Bowen. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. This is his first free throw of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low. So that one coming. And here are the nice. second two minutes gone by. Bad. The two stars, LeBron and Love, making up the forward position. Rose is out there with Thomas. And it's Garbage Man in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. And he gets the bucket. I like how James shoots the ball from the mid-range. I mean, he measures up these type of shots perfectly. you got to deal with it. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Thanks, Kevin. Garbage man in the last game against the Kings. Ah! Foul out before halftime. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. And Kevin will see what he's got in his arsenal tonight. David, appreciate the report. He was a one-man show in that game. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much that took out of him. I mean, he'll have a hard time putting up anything even close to those numbers here tonight. I mean, well, it should have taken all the energy out of him. It should have taken something out of him, Greg. I mean, he pushed the envelope in every way that night. He was unreal. This is the Thomas. Floats it up for James. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Under kicks to McLemore. The feed to Cook. Pass to Schroeder. Down to the right wing. McLemore with the ball. He's picked up by James. Clock at four. Jumper off the screen. That one wide left. May have missed it, but that's the clean of the best. Outside Rose. No good there. And Atlanta will go the other way. Their last encounter was in Atlanta. It really a resounding loss the last time they matched up. They got absolutely manhandled on the board. It was all the things we always talk about. I mean, blocking out, giving the extra effort, basic stuff that they were just unwilling to do. And they got killed for it. Love with the screen for Rose. Here's Garbage Man. Tough to finish it off. Oh, beauty. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up strong. And GA in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big one. Mm -hmm. And guys, they're showing great instincts to anticipating how the ball is going to come off the boards and time it out perfectly. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. And then here you look at the stats for Dennis Kruger. This last month, he has been a real positive for this team. He's averaging 15 points a game, 8 assists, and 3 rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every symphony needs a conductor. He unifies his teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet news. And the Hawks making a change here. Galloway has checked in. Thomas kicks the lob. Feeds to James. 
over Mecklemore. Off target from the baseline. The Hawks trail by four. They set the pick. Here's Galloway looking for his first basket still in this. Charity swipe shot. Mecklemore, no good. Block attempt. Boost for them. If he can start knocking these down. And as successful as LeBron James has been, a max contract, all the endorsements, everything else, he's made his mark with his philanthropy. Well, Kevin, my favorite part about LeBron is what he's done off the court. He's given two and a half million dollars to the Muhammad Ali Museum. Think about this. This might be one of the greatest philanthropic moves, in my opinion, by an athlete. Forty million to pay for the college tuition of one thousand Ohio school children. I mean, he's affecting the world in ways much larger than basketball. Count it. The Cavalier lead has been like, cut down to four points in the now. bucket from Schroeder. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Rose passes to Thomas. Shoots from 12. And Galloway pulls it down. The Hawks trail by four. The Cavaliers pull it in. LeBron's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Rose. And he got the whistle, so they'll have a three-point play opportunity. I love his shot selection. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And Cleveland making a change here. Thompson's checked in. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh attempt at the Rose foul got line in this one. More points and than I do. You, played, you were known as a guy your size who can rip and run, take it coast to coast. You look around the league now, who are some of the best big men ball handlers? Oh, you love it. If you get that board, you got to be able to take his speed up the offense. We've seen Draymond just, just have a field day doing it with all the players on his team that can knock it down and score. Blake Griffin, uh, Anthony Davis. It makes it easier because you don't have to look for the outlet. You can actually find that point guard, that two guard, and transition and let them score, and you be the facilitator. Wells, he's checked in for Rose. And now the first time I've called here for the Hawks. Well, how about Isaiah Thomas making his second All Star game last season? Many people thought he should have been a starter. And both ended up early and giving it to Kyrie Irving and DeMar DeRozan instead. Terrific season for Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Dishes to Schroeder. They set the pick. Right wing. A three. Galloway with the bucket. Uh, and no fight left in the defense there after a teeth rattling pick. Cleveland leading by seven. And Thomas last season setting career highs in uh, scoring and efficiency, Chris. He took his play to a new level. Only 5'9", but you can't measure the size of his heart. Good movement there. Lead pass was right where it needed to be. Collins kicks to Galloway. Under passes to Cup. Back to Schroeder. Plays it up and banks it in. Schroeder's got four points in the quarter. You can't find much better shot than that. Cleveland's gotten two thirds of their three pointers to fall tonight. They're six and nine overall. Outside Thomas. Pass to Wells. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Shot four assists in the game. And Wells has such a quick release. He, he's ready to pull as soon as the ball hits his hand. Galloway kicks it over to Schroeder. Passes it to Cup. And oh. he both hands to jam it in. And he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two hand jam. <laughs> LeBron outside. And the pass to Garbage Man. Thompson, left side. Cleveland moving the ball around. Thomas, no luck. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And here's McLemore. Provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Eager passes to Bowen. Pocket six. Collins kicks it over to Schroeder. That doesn't go either for Schroeder. The Cavaliers leading by eight. James dishes to Thompson. Thompson outside. 
back to Thomas. Down low. Marvelous lead pass and throws it down. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Galloway the pass to Bowen. Back to Galloway. Oh shit. Outside. <laughs> That's My bad. Five for nine. <laughs> I, really I thought it went in. From 15 feet away, LeBron can't get it to go. Give that shot again. He'll probably hit it. That's a good one. Now Schroeder, 12 points for him. 149 left to play here in the half. Kobe. Who's back up? And there's there we go. There we go. He'll go to the line for two. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. James is a workhorse down deep. When he's close to the basket, he's better wrap. <coughs> you know, Chris, LeBron took a lot of heat going to Miami, but when he played with the Heat, he said he learned a lot how to win there. And certainly the results show with two championships and four NBA finals. The fans in Cleveland, they should be happy that he left, learned how to win there in Miami under a great leader uh, like a Pat Riley, and came back and brought that knowledge to Cleveland and won their first championship. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're all is forgiven now. He set the pick. Here's Baysmore. That one's not going to go. Good D by Thompson. Now, here's Well. Circle. He's covered by Baysmore. A baseline J. A second chance effort. Got it. Nice one there from Garbage Man. Garbage Man's got the lead up to 10 now for the can. Galloway picks to Collins. Galloway dishes to Collins. He feeds it to Baseman. He kicks it to Collins. Atlanta again, missing. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Logged up there for Wells. He's a very efficient five for six on the game. Gosh, him. And Wells feels like he can make any shot he takes. When he's got it going on, he is tough to slow down. Here's Galloway from outside off the mark. Shot Tristan, I really want separated mine. by five. Oh, oh, oh. This one for three. The shot by Wells, no good. The Hawks trail by 12. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now, here's Bazemore. 11 points for him in that last game against the Utah Jazz. There's the pick. Off the pick. That shot off the mark. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Uh, well, I'm not doing horrible. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much from one Kevin to another. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Wells has been sensational. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Oh, well, he's a tricky cover. He does a good job of sensing the defense, making the right move at the right time. And so in the game for the Hawks, Dennis Schroeder is out there with McLemore. Then there's Kent Baseman. Then it's Collins, and it's Prince in at the small fold. And Baysmore kicks it over to Schroeder. Inside, 
Comet and the Cavalier lead has been cut down to 12 points again in the basket from Collins. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice subtle adjustment there going up against the win. Well, this is just another case where being aggressive is out. Here's Thomas and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And some great passing here so far. Let's check out this chart that breaks down where the assists have been coming from for the Cavalier. And their guards are taking on the majority of the passing and assisting for the team, just as you might expect. The bigs doing their part by getting to good spots inside and making themselves available. Free throw good, Thomas. And Isaiah Thomas, phenomenal in the pick and roll game. Well, he's one of the best isolation scorers in the league. It's almost impossible to keep him in front of you because he has so many ways to score. He has a low center of gravity. He's quick, and he's not afraid of contact. And both free throws good for Thomas. Chris, I know that when you go through a season, there are certain matchups that you love and certain ones that you don't. When you were playing, which other power forwards did you just dread, just did not like going up against? Well, Kevin, I would kind of change that and say dread to me was, was love, meaning that uh, I dreaded and I loved to go up against Tim Duncan because you knew you had to be prepared that night. I, I love and I dreaded going up against KG. You know, I played in an era where in one week I could have played against Shaq. Uh, Rasheed Wallace, Dirk Nowitzki, uh, Tim Duncan, Akeem Olajuwon. This is all on the West Coast. So for me, you know, I dreaded the Western Conference, but what's so good about it is that you just have to be prepared. You can't dread the NBA. It's like you grew up wanting to play against the best players in life. And so I really love the fact that I have to be my best every night or you're going to get embarrassed in the league. So uh, it, it was every power forward. Never an off night, was your Chris? Never an off night. And uh, uh, so I can't say I dreaded Carl Malone. Or Barkley or Thank you, LeBron. Or, or Elijah Wan, uh, or David Robinson, or Tim Duncan, or KG. This is like, hey, man, you got to put your big wet pants on and get ready and, and go to work, and put your heart at it. <laughs> seen a player with more control on and off the court than LeBron James. He is a superstar, a playmaker, a coach on the floor. Some say he's the GM. He even has a stake in a player agent business. LeBron says it's his dream to one day own an NBA team. Yeah. Well, he's certainly getting some practice. Kevin? No question about it, David. He's well on his way. As important a player as we've ever seen in basketball. Well, that's good. It's Thomas picking up the assist. Have you missed yet, Shammy? 16 points for Shammy Well. The Hawks trail by 18. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And not surprising. Obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Well, the pace right now, that's being dictated to them. They have to try to get it back to their tempo, to their style again. Here gets to Collins. Collins, a screen on left. There's Macklemore. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on love. Ah, uh, the former Jayhawk Macklemore, a gifted score who can really light it up in a hurry. The Hawks have shot three of six with the foul line, and he can't get the first one. Jake Crowder's checked in for the Cavaliers. And he ends up missing both free throws. The Cavaliers leading by 18. Outside for Thomas. Love with the screen for Thomas. He dishes it to Love. Back to Thomas. Down to five on the shot clock. From outside the arc. And Jen shot. And Cleveland again with the bucket. And you can see how this game is going. I mean, put a body on somebody. Man, this is what happens when you get discouraged. Sometimes it just affects every part of your game. Oh, jeez, love. Pick a guy. <laughs> they need this. And it's Schroeder missing. For Cleveland, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Vicious to Thomas. Love outside. Pass to Garbage Man. It's the flop. Ah. <laughs> well, they went by 100%. Schroeder. Over 
Thomas. Oh, that was some bullshit. Here's Bowen. Got a piece Bitch, of give me my block back. <laughs> now, here's Well. Defense is right there. Right. The Hawks trail by 20. Schroeder outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. He gets on Isaiah Thomas. The Hawks have had a disappointing game so far from the line, only three free throws made. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Smith checked in for Wells, and it's Rose in for Thomas. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Horses checked in. Rose kicks the love. Here is Garbage Man. Oh. 18 points for him. The feed to Love. And another ah, miss by pushed on the basket. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. There's a good screen. Count the basket. Oh, really? And six points for Ben McLemore. Oh, the nice in-between game of McLemore. The ability to score from the mid-range is very important in this day. Here's Garbage Man, and he cuts it down. And when, when he gets his points within the flow of the offense, that efficiency has helped them build this lead. And here's Schroeder. 14 points for him. From the McLemore, the shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got five assists in the game. That's why McLemore is out there. The way he opens up the floor with this outside shooting is huge for this team. Here's Garbage Man. He makes the shot from the left block. Garbage Man's got 22. The Hawks trail by 17. Starting to get going. The there we go, there we go. To talk it over. And Chris, as your career progressed, your free throw Getting going now. Jumped up about 20 points higher than when you started. It's not the case for a lot of players. Just how hard is it for a big man to improve their free throw shooting throughout their career? Okay, that's probably one of the things I'm proud of, sir, is that... I have a record from going from worse to that, that best improvement, and, and I worked out hard. I, I had a shooting coach, Buzz, uh, who worked out every summer. I would take him everywhere with me, Phil. I mean, really? I would take this guy uh, to the club, to the church, to a restaurant, to, you know, he'd have to wait outside the bathroom. Everywhere I went that summer, I wanted him, you know, with me because uh, you, you have to focus and concentrate on it. You think about it, you have to change not only um, your mental habits, your repetition, but your thought process. So step one is the figuring out that shot. Step two is how many repetitions. Step three is can you get that in game time atmosphere? You really can't unless you punish yourself in the summer with running. So if you have to do a suicide every one you miss or you know it just was just so much uh, work and intensity on it because you have to build up so much trust because the reason why guys shoot bad free throws they don't trust oh, they shoot a different way every time. And it was fun becoming better at that but you know that's probably one of the toughest things I've ever done is get better at shooting free throws because of the concentration Nice there. Derrick Rose certainly equipped athletically to punish teams in the paint. Cook the pass to Bowen. And Dorsey kicks to Denver. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. Oh. Oh, just a solid screen to free him up. Makes the layup possible. The Hawks have shot 50% from the line on 10 attempts. That's a few too many misses. That was my bad, guys. Now Rhodes, 11 points in the game. Passes it to Zizic. Here is Garbage Man. Feeds it to Rose. Here's the screen. Here's the floater. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And the explosiveness of Rose, quick on the drive. That's why you see him getting fouled there. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Garbage Man. Uh-oh. Just took her a lot of time. Cleveland's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. On the wing, James. The screen from Thompson. Ah! <laughs> my second alley-oop in my career. And the 
play presented by Under Armour. Unleash chaos, giving us the chance to enjoy that alley oop all over That's again. That's beautiful. <laughs> shot James can make, especially when he's deep inside and has the D on the hill. And Dorsey kicks to Galloway. There's the pass to the Bembry. Six to shoot. And it's blocked. As they get it back. Back to Galloway. Off target from three-point range. Safe in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Now here's LeBron. 12 points for him. Here is Garbage Man. Back to Thompson. Cleveland moving the ball around. Thomas, no good. They haven't been able to count on his scoring tonight, but still, here they are in the lead. That's my bad. Should have passed it out sooner. 23 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Galloway. And it's off from three-point range. Cleveland's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Wells with it. He's got 16. There's a screen from deep Thomas. They get it again. Ah! And they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Right back after this break. No, it's a good one. You get the announcers excited. Shooting 43% for the game. LeBron is the three with Tristan Thompson the four. Isaiah Thomas out there with Wells, and it's Garbage Man in at the five spot. Ah, That's shit. the five for Cleveland right now. Hits it from three point range. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. They work on it. Thomas is screen. Thompson sets the pick for James. Off the pick. Down goes Baskin. There's your tacos. He's taking 12 shots and made half of them. And James prepares himself for every situation. Excellent at being in the right spot off the pick. Pass to Galloway. Collins kicks to Galloway. Over Thomas. Galloway with the bucket. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Cleveland's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. A screen from Thompson. Thomas dishes to Thompson. There's the pick. James outside. And Tristan Thompson. Is that the Tristan? With the assist by LeBron. This is where Thompson feels comfortable. Shooting very close to the rim. He's efficient. And Murray kicks to Galloway. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Collins. Second chance effort. That's tipped. And he's able to get it. Oh, come on. Foul on the shot, so the bucket counts and a chance for one more here. Cavaliers making a switch here. Smith is checked in. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Cook is checked in for Langston Galloway. That one misses for Collins. Chris, if you were on the rules committee, what rule well. change would you like to see the NBA make going forward? Kevin, there's not a rule I necessarily have changed. I'd ask them to kind of reinterpret. 
couple of rules, and that goes with the flagrant foul. I often see so many plays that are just hard fouls called as flagrant fouls, and that can affect not only a player and later on whether it's a flagrant two, but it can affect the game. It can affect the next game by how it's interpreted by a player being kicked out because of that. And so I, I just want to take the sensitivity or, or put the toughness back into that. So many flagrant fouls are called and they're not going at the head or they're, they're chopping down on the wrist. And, and I just like to, to see it get back to be interpreted as it was uh, a little while ago, maybe 20, 25 years ago. Is it me or does it just feel like he gets every rebound that comes up? Oh, it's like he's a magnet to the ball. No matter where he goes, it finds him. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Yeah, you love the effort. Just getting a hand. Oh, is that there? There's, there's no one near him. Well, some of that too was just setting the tone by being some aggressive. There was. You need guys like this on your team. Kevin Love's checked in for Cleveland. Those are some horrible picks. Atlanta again, missing. And that's the shot you want to create. They Sorry, just man. can't get it to fall. Uh, that just shows you can do everything right sometimes, but still get the ball in the zone. And it's blocked. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. That doesn't go either for Schroeder. Well, after hitting a couple in the first, he has cooled down a bit here. LeBron kicks to Thomas. No good to yeah. that side. Well executed, great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Yeah, coming off of a good pick, you, you want to get that one. He gets the separation he needs. I know he would love to have that one back. It's a pick by Love. Here's the pick. Shoots from the line. If it counts. And that's 12 points for Isaiah Thomas. And at his height, Thomas has to account for his defender. He has that innate sense of when he has enough space to shot off. Collins passes the Schroeder. Hawks passing it around. They get a bet. Prince kicks it over to Schroeder. Out of bounds, Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. The dish to Collins. He feeds it to McLemore. Collins, a screen on Corver. Off the pick. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And that's 11 points for Ben McLemore. Uh, he's feeling it this half. Total turnaround after a rough first half. Yes, does he's it. Here is Garbage Man. He kicks it to Thomas. Gets there we go. the Prince, they set the screen, and here's McLemore, good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And you know what, he's shaking off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Outside Thomas. There you go, that works. You can call for the pass, but there's no one in front of you, so from getting close to the basket. I mean, that's what you have to love about this kid. Schroeder dishes to Collins. Now here's McLemore outside. But he'll get another chance. And that, that's a good job of just getting after it on the backboard. Get some bad animations these last couple games. Allows them to run even more clock. We know this league is enjoying great success. The Players Union going into last season created a program, Chris, to fund health insurance for all retired players with three or more years of service. Well, I'm proud of our Players Union. I hope that other sports take the lead. You know, you take care of those that come before you. That's one thing. Oh, come on! from 13. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Sees it just got three rebounds so far in the game. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that. He dishes it to Thomas. Just five to shoot. Outside Corver. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. <laughs>
tackling bone. Now Schroeder grins outside. Dishes to McLemore. They set the pick. Over Thomas. Here's Schroeder. Another shot. It's deflected. But he doesn't look like himself right now. And the wide open shot from Crowder. Yeah, baby, there we go. Set. Can Got two blocks and an assist on that one. Two blocks, a defensive rebound, and an assist on that. Takes a three. Shit, shit, shit. And there's Schroeder. That's good. The assist by Prince. Schroeder's got 20. There isn't any player in the league who's going to pass up that shot. There was nobody near. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points for the chance for another one of the strikes. Fouled out, baby. So he's picked up his final thought. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Hawks making a change here. Of course, he's checked in. And you look at the level of talent in the NBA now. Some great players. But we've heard others say the league is watered down. How do you view that statement? Well, I don't think you can. I need this game guys. bad. I think it's great to argue and have fun with them uh, and debate them. But, you know, very. Uh, in my last two games, I need this one bad. Against each other is, is just a waste ah, of time. Ah, damn. Different errors, there's different rules. Think about how many threes Larry Bird shot per game. One and a half, two. What if he could let it fly ten times a game? We'd be talking about a different player there. So uh, I think times, errors, the physical play uh, of the 80s, of the 90s. Uh, I just know that players will handle it differently. Hand checking, the way that we call flavor one fouls. It's a different league. And so I just choose to celebrate the players that we have now. They're the evolution in, in my mind. They're kind of the culmination of all the players that have come before him, so I just enjoy the game the way it is now. Clock at four, it's stolen by Schroeder. Ah, damn it. Oh, and here comes Schroeder all alone. What is that? Rose, and he gets that one to go off the front. <sighs> Schroeder's got ten points in just the second half. Passes the garbage man. And he slams it one hand. And that was the play to make. Rose making the right read. Atlanta's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. And Dorsey kicks it over to Schroeder. There's the pick. Goes up with the strike. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Here's Garbage Man out to Smith. It's stolen by McLemore. Ah, damn it. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. Come back, guys. Come back, guys. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact. Come back, guys. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that. There shouldn't be much debate there. You should just well, a few with seasons it. ago, the NBA introduced the last two-minute report where they release a review of all the calls in the final two minutes of the game. It was certainly had some mixed reaction. Chris, how do you feel about the public review that a refereeing crew now faces with the report? Well, uh, you know, I think the uh, pressure should be on referees just like it is on players. I think everyone gets their job evaluated and it's no different from anyone else. I don't know what it does, though, uh, what a report does by telling you what happened in the last two minutes and that this referee missed the call. So I don't know what it does, but you got you, Derek. I don't mind it because everyone needs to be held accountable and transparency is always good. it to Dorsey. They set the pick. There's the pass to Pembry. Launches a three. Rebound by Garbage Man. Cleveland's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth to feed the Rose. Here is Garbage Man. Guarded by Prince. Here's Smith. And ah! <laughs> Smith just using his speed on that play. Atlanta with the ball. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Schroeder outside. Pass to Bembry. There's run number two all over the place, aren't they? Feeds it to Dorsey. Six on the shot clock. Prince pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Right. 
Uh, great awareness. No reason to take it inside there against the taller man. But he created a little separation from that mid-range. Just a good shot for him in that situation. And Chris, during your playing days, you were on some incredibly talented teams and uh. also some teams that were destined to come up short, so to speak. How big was the difference in the culture between a team who might contend for a title and the culture of a team that is just trying to grow and become a good team. You can tell the minute that you walk into an organization which team that you're playing for, whether it's a team finding identity or a team that believes in themselves. And it's a big difference. It's a difference in the way that the winners approach every day. It's a difference uh, in the way that you take your job series or that you uh, approach the small things and pay attention to the details. And so you notice when you're in a good culture and a bad culture, it all starts at the top. <laughs> stay in this league a long time, long enough, you'll be around uh, the right culture. But the right culture is just doing um, all the positive things that no one is watching and then hoping for great results. And, and when you do that, uh, I think you're in a great culture. Cook, he's checked in for Atlanta. The dish to Dorsey. He feeds it to Cook. There's the screen. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A shot missing. That time it's just enough man over. Outside Rose. From 12 feet out. And there's the foul. That's on garbage man. That will be foul number five on him. And that's just all about positioning. He gets boxed out. Can't fight around it. And gets the over the back call. He's showing good hustle. I mean, a little too much hustle, though. I mean, you got to dial it down just, just a little bit. Here is Cook. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. They won this game going away. The they were the better basketball team. And you got to commend this sort of darkness, particularly... I need that game bad. My confidence. Another win for you guys. How have you guys been able to play at this level and put all these wins together at this point of the season? You know, a lot of it is focus. You know the season is long. There's going to be good stretches. There's going to be bad stretches. But, you know, we just try to, get, try to get better every time we come out on the court. Well, you are trending north right now. Congratulations. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long. <sighs> Man, I needed that game for my confidence.